Here we go with Heat 10. Can the Hammers hit back? Can it off the inside for Lakeside? Chris Harris, the skipper of Coventry, off two. Davey Watgate, three in blue for Lakeside. And James Sargent goes in place of Stuart Robson off the outside in yellow. What it did do there, Kelv, bringing Garrity in in yellow and black, it's got a 5-1. Gary Havelock did a great job with his tactics there for Coventry. Well, it worked a treat, and uh, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong, but uh, certainly the Hammers have got to hit back now. Yep, they have indeed, and it's a good start from Kelly, but watch out for Harris driving up the inside, down the back straight they go. Chris Harris has got the drive into turn three. He's frustrating Eddie Kelly here, and now charging through for uh, the Coventry Bees. James Sargent having a real go. He's past Davey Watt. Can you believe it here? The Bees are buzzing. Watt's coming back for more into third place. Yeah, good stuff once again from Harris. Super down the back straight, getting the better of Eddie Kelly, but Kelly's coming on strong in second place. Davey Watt into third. Kelly right round the outside, looking for more speed. Genuine speed there. Would it be enough for him to yeah, get it up the inside? Side. Good move from Eddie Kelly. Runs wide now. Will be able to. Can Harris repay the compliment? Super speedway from Eddie Kelly. Got to believe that. Well, David Watt back in third. But Kelly, a star here. Fantastic speedway here. He number 10. A very clever move from Kelly as he got the drive down the back straight. To the line they go. Kelly from Harris. What was third? And this meeting really is full of everything, a close scoreline, some fantastic racing, and I thought Harris, the way he switched back up the inside, might just have picked Kenny back off there, but Kenny held his line, and yeah. that is what Edward Kenny is all about. On his day, he's a class act. Yeah, and it certainly was there, wasn't it? Uh, because Harris had got the better of him initially down the back straight, and once Harris had hit the front, I fancied he would then pull away and win comfortably, but I've got to say, Eddie Kenny shows great uh, determination, and he chased down the captain of the bees and passed him in fine style. And that was an important uh, race win for Eddie Kennett, a 4-2. And they keep, um, uh, keep in touch with the bees. It looked like a 4-2 for Coventry at one stage, but the Hammers turned it around. Kennett, Harris and Watt ahead of James Sargent. Ten heats gone, what a meeting. Lakeside 29. Coventry 31 with five heats to go here at Arena Essex. Yeah, good speedway here. Got to say, Kennett on the inside makes the first turn and Harris chops to the inside. We're seeing it again. Eddie Kennett and Watt on the outside, but it's Harris. Harris makes that uh, inside line work. And when he hits the front, he's been fast in his first two rides. I fancied he'd pull away, but all credit to Edward Kennett. He wasn't uh, going to let that lie, was he? And he comes uh, roaring up the inside. And his bike uh, works really well here, generating more and more speed off the corner and splits. It comes steaming down the inside of Chris Harris. And that's the way it stays. That was an important ride from Kennett. And a great ride indeed. And let's hear from Eddie Kennett now. He's with Chris Louie. Thanks, Nigel. Well, Kelvin was just saying there that uh, you looked a completely different ride of your bike working really, really well. And I think you made a few changes. Yeah. That